The rectification is used to get a direct voltage from an alternating source, but there will be ripples in the DC voltage produced by rectifiers. The amount of ripple can be further reduced by using a large value capacitor, but there are limits on both the cost and size of smoothing capacitors used. The capacitor is connected in parallel to the load resistance and is used to smoothen the signal we get from the rectifier circuit. In this circuit, as you can see, when the voltage increases, the capacitor gets charged. And when the voltage across the circuit decreases, the voltage across the capacitor also decreases. We can clearly see from the graph how a capacitor smoothens the output. Though it is not pure DC, it is better than the rectifier output. This increase and decrease of voltage across the capacitor occurs slowly because of its property of holding the charges. It gets charged slowly and it discharges even slowly, thus giving us an almost pure DC signal. As we said earlier, there is a limit on the cost and size of capacitor. So we cannot use it alone to get pure DC signal. In that case, we use choke filter or commonly known L-section filter. When the pulsating DC signal from the rectifier circuit is fed into a choke filter, the ripples present in the DC voltage gets filtered by a choke coil. The inductor has a special property to block AC and pass only DC. This is because DC resistance of an inductor is low and AC impedance of inductor coil is high. So, the AC ripples gets blocked by an inductor coil. Although the inductor efficiently removes AC ripples, a small percentage of AC ripples will still be present in the filtered signal. These ripples are then removed by the capacitor connected in parallel to the load resistor. Now, the DC output signal is almost free from AC components and this regulated DC can be used in any application. There is another type of filter called Pi filter. Here, we use two capacitors in parallel with the inductor. Through this setup, we'll get the DC signal which has very tiny amount of ripples. So, these are the different types of filters. To sum up, in this video, we learnt about filters and its importance, types of filters such as capacitor filter, L-section or choke filters, and finally, pi filters. In the next video, we'll look at LEDs and its applications. Watch out.